This is the case study video which is done on the topic to apprise the performance appraisal system of Sweetwater University and this is done by the team we are managers. Uh, friends, uh, now I am going to explain the summary of the case study. This case study is about the newly appointed Vice President Rob Spencer. Uh, about the uh, difficulties he faced shortly after this university career beyond. Uh, Rob, uh, Rob's boss, uh, Sweet Master President, assigned him the first uh, task of improving performance appraisal system. And it is used to evaluate the um, secretary and the clerical performance. In this case, the main difficulty is performance appraisal system, which was directed to increase, uh, salary, uh, to, uh, to increase the salaries given at the end of the year. Uh, the graphical uh, rating forms which were, that were used to evaluate the clerical performance, uh, clerical staff, uh, were, not difficult, um, were not efficient as these uh, forms, never gave the uh, true evaluation of performance. Uh, so to change the uh, penalty performance uh, appraisal system, uh, two uh, sweet masters expect the expect give their recommendations to evolve, uh, to solve the problem. Uh, this first recommendation was not to give the, not to use the graphical uh, rating method. Uh, as this uh, rating method did not uh, provide any clear picture for a good or bad performance. Uh, the second recommendation is, um, was uh, not to force the administration to appropriately uh, rate at the end. But these recommendations uh, created by original forces uh, rating appraisers used by Rob and uh, what should be the basics of a uh, performance appraisal system. So friends, uh, we will see about the analysis of the case. Yeah. So in this case, uh, when you consider this case, uh, we have the vice president called Rob Winston. Winston. So what uh, he says is that he is a vice, uh, vice principal of a uh, university called Sweetwater. So in that university, when the president appointed him as the uh, vice, uh, vice pre uh, president, uh, he told that uh, you must take care of the performance appraisal system, you need to make some changes in the performance appraisal system, as well as uh, you must uh, make some changes in the employee turnover. What is the reason for the employee turnover? You should find out what it is. So the that task you, first uh, task you want to find the reason for turnover, employee yeah. turnover. First uh, the reason was to find the employee turnover. And after that, uh, what uh, this man did this, he went and uh, saw the system, what in the whole system, in which system the performance appraisal is maintained. And he, fo he found something in the very interesting. So what he found out is, when uh, the performance appraisal system was uh, divided into two sections, one was for a clinic, uh, cl uh, clerical job and another one for uh, the secretaries. Mm -hmm. So both the clerical jobs and secretaries will be prefer uh, performance analyzed by a manager. Is the manager who is called as an administrator in the university. So this administrator, what he does is, uh, he just uh, uh, he just puts uh, some grades for the uh, person who is working under him, and according to that grade, uh, they get uh, something. They get the uh, uh, allowance at the end of an year. Allowance will be in the form of money. So yep. So, so here every performance appraisal in every performance appraisal, all the employees will get the salary. Will get uh, some appraisal. So uh, there was a confusion to which person the appraisal should be given and which person the appraisal should not be given. So there was no, uh, no fixed uh, target to which person the appraisal should be given. So uh, uh, that means the wrong uh, performance appraisal is going on the yeah the, uh, the performance appraisal system in that uh, or the uh, university was wrong. Okay. So that uh, what he uh, done is he wanted to change this appraisal system. So he thought of a plan how to change this appraisal system. So he went and met an. Uh, uh, MBA students uh, who are very good in performance appraisal, who, who know the strategies of how to uh, uh, deal with performance appraisal. So what he done is, uh, when he told these uh, uh, students to analyze what was the mistakes done in performance appraisal, they uh, put on a, a case study and uh, they just analyzed what were the reasons for these mistakes to happen. 
and what we found here was all the employees, the managers, that means the administrators in that uh, university, mm -hmm. they all uh, they all just they gave awarded marks to their uh, secretaries free of cost uh, because there is no per perfect 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 perfect. because uh, there was uh, the, the actual reason became this was because of providing an appraisal to the employees there was no benefit for the administrator. So he did not have any interest to provide the, uh, the to deal with this very correctly. Uh, he just uh, wanted to pass yeah, the time. Yeah. Yeah. There are no more advantages for that. Uh, there so are no more advantages. advantages. So another one thing was what what here was that uh, the uh, employees, the administrators uh, in that play, uh, area, they wanted the employees to stay in the organization. He don't want the employees to go. If he did not give the employee performance appraisal, he did not give the benefit at the end of a year, the employees will uh, leave the company. He will go to a private sector. So there will be employee turnover throughout the year. So to reduce this, they, uh, gave, the, uh, they gave the performance appraisal for free of cost. Uh -huh. that, uh, that was the main reason behind uh, the first thing. And the second thing was, they found a, a very serious issue. In the uh, performance appraisal, we will have a feedback form. The each performer, each employee will be, uh, up, uh, they will be analyzed according to the various categories in the uh, feedback form. But in the feedback form, at the present feedback form, there are only four categories. Uh, there were uh, like uh, excellent, good, fair and uh, poor. So in these four categories, if a person, you own, you own, uh, there are many administrators and all the administrators do not know the exact meaning of how to upro upload the uh, this one, employees. So what they do is, they just give fair to one person, they uh, give uh, excellent to one person. Some people think yeah, fair is the second, uh, second thing, second grade. Some people think good is the second grade. So there was a lot of confusion between this thing. So they gave for everyone excellent. So this was the main reason. So what, what uh, we want to do here is, we, they, we must just change the performance appraisal system uh, from uh, grading systems to uh, marking system. Uh, Pointing system. Uh, that's more effective to uh, evaluate the employee Yeah. Ah, okay. So, because uh, words speak, uh, ma no, actually, points speak much more than words. Effective, uh, actually, clear cut information about the employees. Yeah. It can give clear cut and information, information yeah. about the employees. So, this was the second thing uh, what they suggested. And uh, they also suggested him that uh, you must uh, remove the money, that the performance appraisal in the forms of money, you must remove that in forms of money. But uh, that will be only working in a uh, non-active performance appraisal organization or it will not be working in this organization because the employees, if the employees are giving only money benefits, they will stay in the organization or else they will not stay in the organization. This was the main reason behind it. And uh, newly, uh, according to uh, the M uh, MBA students, they just wanted uh, some new performance appraisals to be included in the current uh, category of analyzing the employees. Uh, like uh, the performance job, what job they do, their innovation, their uh, sincerity, uh, time of uh, time of job completion, their uh, accuracy, uh, all these things. Uh, so this was the uh, uh, analysis that I found in this case. Now we have discussed about the case. Having three questions. First question is, uh, do you think that the expert recommendation will be sufficient to get most of the administrators? to fill out the rating form properly. Why? Why not? What additional actions do you think will be necessary? Recommendation will not be sufficient to get most of the administrators to fill out the rating form properly. Why the expert recommendation will not be required? Because the administrators might be biased and convenient to rate excellence. This will not improve ability and skill of uh, administrators and clerks. Mm. A few administrators want to be unpopular to his subordinates and he will hesitate to rate uh, the optimum marks. First thing, uh, managers may opt for generic dimensions such communication, teamwork, how, know how and quality. Another option is to appraise performance based on the job's actual duties. Uh, that should be provide performance appraisal software. Uh, so that the administrators can only put the data and authority can only find the ultimate total score and uh, can easily evaluate. And here we can add the point method to uh, evaluate the performance of the employees. That's more sufficient than old methods. So yeah. Okay. Yeah.
So the point yeah, method will be very helpful. Uh, helpful too. But it can clear give a clear or actual the performance of an employee to the management or administration. They can take uh, uh, good decision. Uh, uh, now we have the second question. Do you think that Vice President Winchester would be better off dropping Rafik rating firm substitute, substituting instead one of one of the other techniques we discussed in this chapter, yes. such as a ranking method. Yes. I will answer for that. Why? Yes. I, actually, why are you accepting your question? Because the it's more preferable the pointy method to the this organization. Of course. Uh, the Mr. Vice President Winchester is right because the graphing rating systems are. Uh, several problems such as unclear standards. Uh, what are the problems you find in That is unclear standards, okay. uh, halo effect, uh, central tendency, uh, leniency, bias, etc. Uh, Instead, the ranking method is such better than the graphic rating system. Uh, because in this system, employees are ranked uh, from best to worst on a particular trait. Um, uh, alteration ranking method is avoided central tendency. Mm. Oh sure, it's also I, I am also accepted with this because the ranking system or point, sorry point system or ranking system is more effective than the graphic method. But it, it can uh, give a clear or actual amount. It, it, throughout that we can uh, uh, actually evaluate an employee than graphical method. Yeah, so, yeah, I need to accept with this point because. Graphical method just uh, shows the performance uh, growth. Uh, it not uh, shows the accurate point where uh, the employees grow. But in the yeah. ranking system, this uh, cover the uh, point of view. Okay. Uh. Mr. Robert Winston decided to put a hold on a number of secretaries getting anything above the average. This new forced ranking system was done because administrators was were very lenient in ranking their staff. But in the other ranking system, it is very strict and it is unfair to those who have a very good staff. Now I will take third questions. I will discuss with you. Uh, what performance appraisal system would you develop for the secretaries if you were wrong? Uh, the, main, the main objective of a performance appraisal system is to develop a good performance from employees, uh, from employees and to raise production. Uh, using uh, using a per, using a performance appraisal system, so it is allowed to see the level of uh, see the level they are working and the working and the managers managers the managers are able to get information get information from employees uh, so they can uh, help help to make their jobs uh, more successfully. Uh, these appraisals should be uh, these appraisals should be consistent throughout the whole process. There are several types of appraisals. First one, uh, essays, uh, standard essays, standard essays, use of critical instance, uh, and management by objectives. It is always better to pick the right uh, format for your organization. Finally, we are discussing the Sweetwater's university problem that are given by in this yes. case. The, actually, there were new secondary secretary was appointed to overcome that turnover, labor turnover, turnover problems. That's mainly two problems are the uh, first one is the long wrong performance appraisal and then the compensation for problems such as salary allowance such as actually we are giving two uh, two suggestions for solving this case. First of all, we are giving instead of the graphing in, the, in this case instead of the graphical rating, rating method, rating we are we are giving the pointing method or record ranking, ranking method to. Uh, overcome the uh, okay. performance of appraisal then we want to give salary or compensation on the basis of the performance the performance. perfect evaluation of performance can only lead the giving compensation to the employees then only we can reduce the this yeah. turnover of employees and actually that's that's all about it and thank you for listening us